Welcome back to the VOB. I'm your host, Bowser Stern, and I'm gonna say a bunch of stupid shit just because I'm constantly on the radio. Welcome back to Game of Flays, Super Mario World. Um, I'm not gonna end the game quite yet, but I am gonna finish off this valley otherwise. Go to a nice, relaxing, athletic level. This is a very quaint level in comparison to the fact that I'm going to be ending the game very soon. What's with that, you ask? Not a whole lot of things, I say. Uh... Yeah, so these carrot platforms, I believe they are. Which are only carrot, not they're orange. But I think people call them carrot platforms. They are timed. When it comes down from one, it'll go down. And then you're fucking boned. These are annoying Koopas for this particular area, since they can hop through those ropes. And I think... I think despite... Hang on. I'm thinking of, uh... The time... I think the carrot platforms are operating on actual seconds in comparison to the timer, which is the... Again, 60 versus 100 thing. So, maybe there isn't a time differential, but maybe there is. If I take it to the calculated limit, perhaps. Back to the VOB. This also is a secret exit. And we have the football men miners who work for the coal workers union. They've been here since the whole place has been burning down, considering all lava. I guess that's not a big surprise. To get the secret exit, you will need a Yoshi. Your Yoshi is right there. I missed it this time. Well, I didn't actually need it this time because the normal exit. Don't need no one! Don't need no truck. Grab the one up. Why? So you can die and look like a fool in front of your fellow players. Don't hate the game, hate the player. Oh, wait. That's not what we say, is it? <laughs> Um, I'll take that. Take one look into a book. Reading pain bow. Alright, I'm gonna have Yoshi with me this time. I may have mentioned before the Yoshi seems too light green. It's darker green in later games. In later games it even has an English voice for whatever goddamn reason. And by English I mean it says its own name. So it's like a Pokemon, that fashion. It's like a Pokemon and a Kirby. It's not good. Although if Kirby was a Pokemon, it would say Poyo. So its name would be Poyo. But we all know Kirby's name Kirby because of vacuums. Okay. Uh, anything else I should tell you? Right. You need to swallow the key with Yoshi to get to the secret exit, which is like right there. Like, why even do that? I just give me both at that part. Yeah, there's a lot of secret exits that are like, I put this right next to normal exit, as opposed to just hiding them somewhere, because it's not really hidden now, is it? It's also the secret that goes to the last star road, which will have the last secret exit that I go to. Won't that be exciting? Moving on. Let me go do the secret exit, then I'll do the last Star World, and then I will do Larry's Castle, numero seven-o. Um... It's okay. Yoshi may be burning to death, but we're going to replace it by reincarnating it from its block house. I'm just a block, just a little yellow block, with a Yoshi on Capitol Hill. No, it's a reference to the fucking, um... I can't remember the name of it now. What's that? That's to do with bills in Congress. Except it's the block. Step on this guy's head. It's not necessary to do so. Eat Laird! 
They'll bury you in a lunchbox. Oh. Oh, dear. Is that a sign of times to come? Will Mario be buried in his Mario Maker lunchbox designed for construction workers? No one must ever know this. Star Road! And that's the front door, so again, showing off if you took the Star World route, you could get here very quickly in a very small amount of time. Star World 5, to get the secret, you would need a culmination of all the blocks, or you can fly up there like a jackass. So, I'd also recommend flying up with the power of the A, so you go straight up as opposed to just an unwieldy fashion. I will let this cone train go as far as is possible. The only way to know it's over is when the music goes away. I don't know if it'll go faster if I somehow make the time go 99, which forces the music to go faster. Okay. Now we run to the end. I guess without hitting the P block, I would try to take the rest of it. I suppose you could also use that coin train to go up to the top, too. Actually. That might be the intended way, actually. I care not, though. I have not needed to return to the top secret area, so I do what I want. Take that, Spinies. Not fireproof, are you? Ooh, yeah, that's a good point. Does the Yoshi fire work on Buzzy Beetles? I don't think I ever got the chance to do so. I should really try it one of these days. Interestingly, the normal exit actually takes you to the next star road. Which means, where the fuck does the secret exit go? Wouldn't you like to know? I'm gonna do the same thing as before. Wait very patiently for the coin train to do its thing. So... Do, 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 do. Do 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 Alright, pencils in. Um You said that there was ninety-six goals. And how much did you wager? Nine hundred and ninety-nine coins. You are a new champion! Anyway. Uh yeah, you can tell this is quite a final place with all the blocks laid out like this. Ooh, another star. But where the f where does it go? And why is it on top of a mountain on Star Hill? Let's go to Larry's castle, where we're living like Larry. I think it's supposed to be for Larry King. That's an odd reference. Is that what we thought was cool? Or, or was the only person we knew was Larry? You know? Who's responsible for this? The block train makes its second debut. And it's longer. And it goes on for a little longer. And is more harrowing and dangerous. So Larry has stolen ideas from Roy. Which is common for Larry. Larry, Larry tends to steal shit. According to the cartoon. I think. Actually, no. Larry likes sports. Larry's the most boring Koopaling. I'm sorry. It's the truth. That's my hot take. I think my mission in life is to figure out what the most uncontroversial hot takes that still qualify as hot takes, so they'd be like mi mildly spicy takes. The kind that you can put on chili and curries. Plus, they could at least be amusing. I could test the waters, so it's a good place to debate stuff. That's kind of where I th would want society to be at. Where they can make those little overlaps of what is only slightly uncomfortable. That way they can deal with the rest of the world. I'm doing a good thing! Oh, uh, don't answer that door. Keep riding the block. That's right. Not only is there a checkpoint, but here's the rest of your dragon coins. That's kind of cool. Most of the checkpoint, actually. That's what makes it awesome. Kamex back. The coins of Super Mario World cartoon is Wisenheimer. I don't know what the fuck that's about. Maybe he has Wisenheimer's disease. 
Oh, dear. He actually spawned in the pike. This is me showing off I could do this. It also gives you 100 points. Just ignore him and maybe he'll go away. Maybe not. It's good if he does that right in front of you, though. It makes it a lot easier to deal with. And if he's farther away, well, I mean, you could dodge it anyway. Let's go. So Larry fights like Iggy, except we got three fireballs also. Also, I took too much time on this, which is surprising, considering most of it was an auto-scroller on the snake block. I think it might tip more to this platform here. Kind of kill them American Gladiator style, I suppose, or, or sumo. I really want a Mario game where I knock off the Koopaling with the giant Q-tips, though, on a tightrope. But a man can dream. Just kick it. Mario has defeated Larry Koopa in Castle Number 7. All that is left is Bowser's Castle, where Princess Toastville is being held. Can Mario rescue her and restore peace to Dinosaur Land? You say that like I'm ever coming back. I guess it is peace. It's only peace when you're not in it. In pieces, that is. So next time, I won't be going to the front door. I'm going to a special place for special people. So I will give you a special education in the next video. And you will like it! Buy it. It's one of my favorite places in the game because of how ridiculous it is. See you next time for what will be the last video of Gaming Wolf Plays Super Mario World. <gasps> nice. Goodbye.